Hey guys, I thought I would provide a little brief tutorial on how to change the background of Emulation Station. Um, as I was going through some of the folders and stuff, <clears throat> I saw that um, the pictures that they had previously supplied, you know, for the background are cool. I know nothing against, you know, the simple uh, theme that they provided uh, right out of the box, but as a geek, you know, and stuff like that. I always want to customize everything that I possibly can. And so went rummaging around and found out that it was pretty easy to actually change the backgrounds of um, the different pictures that were uh, in the emulation station. So if you boot it up, you'll kind of see that um, there's kind of a blurred background for each one of the systems. And uh, it kind of represents, you know, what the main game was for each system. But I thought it would be really cool to have, like, a running theme of, like, the actual picture of the system itself that you were selecting. Um, so what I did was um, I made just, it's a duplicate of the simple theme, um, but I made it systems. And that way, you know, you can kind of differentiate between the two. Uh, but you can kind of see that as I move through the systems, the actual system picture pops up in cool, you know, HD graphics and all that. And uh, just looks, in my opinion, a little bit cooler uh, than the blurred background. Not that the blackout background that was blurred was bad. Just, uh, you know, something to kind of uh, tweak and personalize and customize myself. Um, I will provide this in a link in the description down below that you can download off a of Dropbox if you like what I've already done and you just want to apply it to your system. It's really easy to do. You just drop it in the themes folder and then you'll have an additional theme to select in here. So right now these are the three folders I have in there, you know, and this is the one that I like to have that I've kind of manipulated. And so each one of these I just kind of went on the internet, selected a background that I thought was kind of cool. Uh, and applied it to it. And I'll show you guys just real quick how you can do that so you can kind of um, do that on your own. So all you have to do is open the emulation station folder and then under themes you'll see the folders that have the themes in them. Um, I duplicated the simple one. I'm just eating off of what they've already done, all their hard work. And um, I've changed only the systems that uh, apply to me. So I, if you go into the different Atari ones other than the 7800, they're still going to have the blurred backgrounds. Uh, you can kind of see right here, this is the blurred background that they use. But if you go into something like uh, the GameCube, I've manipulated this one. So uh, you take a look, and this is the actual background I'm using, as opposed to the blurred one that was the original default one. Um, just to kind of give you a little bit of a background on what's actually going on here. If you take a look at the XML file for each one of the art themes, you'll see that it's um, looking for the blurred uh, JPEG, which is just right here. So you can't name it whatever you want to. You have to name it what the naming convention is in this XML file. So if you ever want to know or you delete the file on accident and you want to replace it again, just go back to here in each of the themes XML file, you'll see what the artwork is looking for, you know, so, uh, but it has to be named this. So all I do is I go online, I find a picture that I want. Um, I renamed the default one here to GC underscore art underscore blur default, just so that way I didn't lose it in case I ever want to put it back to its original. And then I renamed mine, the true name that's listed in the XML file. For example, this is the GameCube one. Uh, I drop it in there, and then when I boot up Emulation Station and I go to the GameCube, it's just as simple as that, um, is it lists that picture instead of the blurred one. So there you go. It's that simple. It's that easy. Um, I made it a separate, you know, uh, theme. So that way, if I ever do want to go back to the simple one, say that <laughs> I've done something here that actually messes up other things that's dependent on it, I can always go back to the default settings. But um, I thought that was really cool. I thought it's really fun to customize things and um, kind of add your own artwork and your own little spin on what you want things to look like. And so um, as you use the system, as you lose, use Emulation Station, you can kind of see a little bit of what you think you might just like to see in the back. And definitely this is more of like an XBMC feel where um, 
each one of the categories kind of represents in the background what that is. You know, for XVMC, you see movies, and you'll see a movie theater with screen and all that, and then music has a disc and, you know, uh, music notes that kind of represent the, um, uh, the, the thing that you're selecting. So I thought this kind of matched that just a little bit, but it was really fun to go online, find the pictures that I wanted to find, put them on here, you know, and just customize it a little bit. Uh, once I go in here, everything is exactly the same. I haven't gone far enough to really uh, decide to change the colors and all that because I don't know how. But um, I thought changing the pictures was really cool, especially the main one. I like the cabinet arcades in the back. You know, it's definitely kind of pokes at exactly what MAME is and what it does is multi-cabinet uh, emulator. And same thing with the Genesis. It was fun to see, you know, the actual picture. Uh, and kind of nostalgic because that's all this really is, is is the nostalgia of all the retro games you know and so you get to pull out some really cool fun artwork and kind of be creative with it and everything so uh yeah if you liked these pictures what you saw in that folder is exactly what i've provided in the description below just try download off a dropbox throw it into your systems or themes folder and then um, you can select this one if you want to of course you don't have to if you don't want to but you know uh, thanks a lot for not liking mine. So, all right, guys, thanks.